we are going to take a comprehensive look at the consolidated statement of cash flows. We dealt with a theory in a previous lecture. DAF Group Statement of Financial Position as of 31st December 2021 is listed below. So we have the non-current assets, property, plant and equipment, goodwill, investment and associate for both years, the current and the prior year. For current assets, we have inventory, receivables, cash and cash equivalent. The total assets being four billion three hundred and five million dollars. For that of twenty twenty is three billion eight hundred and seventy million. Now we move on to the equity session. So we have share capital, retained earnings, non controlling interest. We have non current liabilities, which is long term borrowings for both years. We have deferred tax for current liabilities. We have trade payables, current tax payables leading to a total equity and liability also equaling that of the asset column four billion three hundred and five million dollars for twenty twenty is three billion eight hundred and seventy million dollars. Moving on, we look at DAF's group statement of profit and loss for the year ended thirty first December twenty twenty one. So we have revenue, cost of sales leading to a gross profit of five hundred and eighty million. We have distribution cost administrative expenses which will lead to profit before interest and tax we have finance cost share of the profits from associates then we have profit before tax we take the tax out then we have the profit for the year we have DAF's group statement of changes in equity for the year ended 31st December 2021 the headlines will be equity shares retain earnings non-controlling interest and the total for each row so we have their opening balances 1.5 billion for equity, 900 million for retained earnings, non controlling interest opening for 540 million. There was an issue of 200 million equity shares, dividend 65 million, 20 million total comprehensive income for the year. This is the allocation of the profit between the parent and the non controlling interest 225 million to the parent, 55 to the non controlling interest. So the closing balance that will be lifted to the equity section of the group statement of financial position is 1.7 billion for equity within earnings of 1 billion and 600,000 dollars 575 million for non controlling interest and a total of 3 billion 335 million dollars the following information relates to the financial statement of the DAF group so on 1st June 2015, DAV acquired all of the share capital of Fred for $50 million. Now, the fair value of the identifiable net assets and liabilities at that date of acquisition that have been reflected in the year-end balances of the DAV group are as follows. So we have property, plant and equipment, $13 million. Inventory of $20 million. Receivables of $15 million. Cash and cash equivalent of $3 million payables of $9 million, leading to the net assets of $42 million. So goodwill arising on this transaction was $8 million. Now DAV owns 20% of an associate. The associate made a profit for the year of $200 million. The associate paid a dividend of $150 million. So during the year, DAV charged depreciation of $130 million on its property, plant and equipment. So this also has to be adjusted. It sold property, plant, and equipment with a current value of $43 million for $50 million. So we have to calculate DAV's group statement of cash flows for the year ended 31st December 2021. So we are supposed to do the cash generated from operating activities, cash generated from investing activities, and cash generated from financing activities. So for solution, we will start with operating activities. So we will start with the group profit before tax. So we start with the depreciation. It was stated in the question as $130 million. It was subtracted. So we add. So the gain on sale of the property plant and equipment that was stated in the additional information. Also, there is an impairment on goodwill, $54 million. We will get to the workings very soon. Then the share of the associate profit, $40 million. Interest payable. It was captured as $55 million. There was a decrease of inventory of 70 million, an increase of receivables of 51 million. We subtract 
a decrease of payables of 139 million. It will lead to cash generated from operations, $447 million. We come to the interest paid is $55 million. It is equal to the interest payable, meaning that the interest that was recorded was indeed paid. We will show you how we got that. Tax paid is $25 million. We subtract that. We pick the profit before the tax. That's how come we didn't adjust for the tax payable. If you had picked after the tax, we would have added back as tax payable like we did for the interest. This will lead to the final cash generated from operating activities of $367 million. So now when we come to the workings, we start with goodwill. Goodwill is an asset, so it has a debit balance. The opening figure was a billion and two hundred and thirty million dollars. The acquisition of Fred came aboard with extra eight million dollars of goodwill. The balance was one billion one hundred and eighty-four million dollars. When we close the figure, we are going to get an impairment of fifty-four million dollars. When we come to the working capital, how we got the movement. The opening for inventory was five hundred and eighty million dollars, three hundred and ninety million dollars for receivables. $430 million for payables. There was a purchase of a subsidiary. They had balances for these various items, which is $20 million for inventory, $15 million for receivables, and $9 million for payables. This will lead to an expected figure to be compared to the closing balance to ascertain the movement. So $600 million for inventory, $405 million for receivables, $439 million for payables. When we compare to the closing of five. 130 for inventory, 456 for receivables, 300 million for payables. There will be a decrease in inventory, which is a plus for $70 million. An increase in receivables, which is an outflow of $51 million. A decrease in payables, which is also an outflow of $139 million. Now, when we come to the interest paid, there is nothing in the statement of financial position. So, the money has been paid off. If the interest payable is unpaid, it's supposed to be featured in the current liability section of the group statement of financial position. Also, if there are two figures, the prior year and the current year, the way we did for the goodwill, you pick the opening, you add the figure for the year from the income statement, it's supposed to be equal to the closing balance. If it differs, the difference will be the amount paid. For tax paid, there was a deferred tax in the non-current liability section and a tax payable in the current liability section. So we pick the two. Opening for the deferred tax, 190 million. We add that for the current tax payable of 110 million. Then we add the tax for the year, which was found in the group statement of profit and loss with 95 million. The closing balance was 220 for deferred tax, 150 for current tax. Okay, so the balance is $395 million. It means that $25 million was paid off. Let's move on to the investing activities. So we have the proceeds when the property plant and equipment was sold, the $50 million. We subtract the purchase of the property plant and equipment, $655 million. Dividend received from associate, $30 million we add. There was acquisition of subsidiary. The net paid in cash, $47 million then it will lead to a cash generated from investing activities of an outflow of $622 million. For the workings, the price they actually paid up front was $50 million, but the subsidiary had a cash and cash equivalent balance of $3 million. So the net cash was $7 million. For the property plant and equipment, the opening balance was a billion and $250 million. They acquired the asset through the acquisition of the subsidiary, $13 million. Depreciation for that particular year, $130 million. The opening that we had is the net book value. The depreciation was subtracted to get to the closing balance. So we have to subtract it. Also, there was a sale of assets with a net book value of $43 million. The closing balance was $1,745,000,000. It means that the purchases was $655 million, the difference. When we come to dividend from associates, the value of the holding in associate was $190 million for the year 2020, which is the prior year. The profit that is entitled to by the parent 
from the associate's activity was $40 million. The value of the associate in the account at the end of 2021 was $200 million, as stated here. It means that there was a dividend of $30 million received. Alternatively, what you can do is pick the total dividend paid out by the associate, which luckily is stated in the question. Then you calculate 20% of this, which is $30 million. We come to financing activities. We will start with the proceeds from the share issue, which is $200 million. If you look at the changes in equity, it was stated there. Alternatively, you compare the prior year in the equity to the current year. The difference is 200 Then, there was a loan issue, $100 million. You also do so by comparing the prior year to the current year. If it's an upward movement, it's a plus. If it reduces, it means that they have made some payment from the loan. It means money has flown out. Dividend paid to non-controlling interest will show the workings very soon. It's $20 million. And it was even shown in the statement of changes in equity. Okay. We'll also bring the dividend paid to the parent shareholders, $65 million. It was also stated in the changes in equity. If that is not done, we would also show the procedure to get to that. Leading to a cash generated from financing activity of a surplus or an inflow of $215 million. For dividend paid to non-controlling interest, for the opening $540 million, there was a profit allocated to them of $55 million, which by now, their stake should be $595 million. In as much as there was a purchase, it was fully owned, so there will be no room for the increase of non-controlling interest. The figure in the 2021 column was $575, meaning that the dividend that was paid was $20 million. That's how come a reduction has been seen for dividend paid to shareholders if it is not stated in the changes in equity you can also find it this way dividend it is paid out of the profit generated for a particular year that profit that is generated is added to the retained earnings so retained earnings for a particular year is the accumulated profit up to the beginning of that particular year they add the surplus profit when i'm talking about surplus profit the profit that you got if you decide not to pay any dividend you add to it if you paid any dividend the difference is what is added so we use the balances of the retained earnings to reach the actual dividend paid out so retained earnings is in the equity column so it's credit so the opening balance was 900 million dollars that is the accumulated profit up to the opening of 2021 now the profit for that year that is what is attributed to the parent was $225 million. Ideally, the within earnings at the end of the year should have been $1 billion, $125 million. Okay. But the closing was $1 billion and $600,000. It means that when you close it, the difference of $65 million paid out as dividend. It is the same as what is in the statement of changes in equity. We now come to the cash and cash equivalent. So the change in cash and cash equivalent is $40 million outflow. So you can see that the prior year is more than the current year by that figure. Okay. When we add the opening cash and cash equivalent of $230 million, we are getting the closing cash and cash equivalent of $190 million. Now, as mentioned, the change in cash and cash equivalent of an outflow of 40 million should be equal to the summation of the balances of the three activities so let's check when we add the operating activities balance of 367 million dollars to that of the investing activity of an outflow of 622 million dollars to the financing activities balance of an inflow of 250 million dollars it indeed gives us an outflow or a negative of $40 million. It means that everything is on point. We'll bring our discussion to a close here.